All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the brand new kayak that I got, the Challenger K1 kayak by Intex. I'm going to be customizing it later on in a few other videos. I'm going to show you guys a way that you can make it perfect for fishing because it's not really a fishing kayak. It's just a normal kayak. So let's get started and open it up. All right. Okay. So it comes inside this bag-like thingy. Oh, I guess I didn't need the box. Ah, it's already getting dirty. That's fun. All right, so the quick pump. And now the actual kayak. Uh, here's the seat that it comes with. The instructions, the skeg, anything else, and then the last paddle. It also comes with this little thing that you put your feet on. Alright, so this is the cargo little hub. So it has two little things that you can inflate. This is the second one that you have to inflate. Let me find the first one. I think it's somewhere right there. That's the first one you inflate. And then it comes with a ruler, I believe, that you measure out. All right, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna start by removing this little piece. Now time to inflate it. Comes with this little ruler that will help you tell how, how much to inflate your kayak. You put it right there. And as long as it's perfectly matched or really close, it's good. For this one right here, just take out the cardboard. Open up the top layer. And this hose actually fits nice and tightly in there. Just put it in, put it in all the way, now you're good. See how this fits perfectly, there's two of these on there. One on the inside, I couldn't really show you with this camera because it's really tough to see. It took about maybe five, six minutes to inflate. Now just inflate the little pieces left. You can put some cargo back here that you don't need immediate access to, like maybe backup camera gear or something I don't know backup reels rods I don't know anything extra and then right here you can just put baits camera gear that's waterproof that you need immediate access to life jacket safety flare pretty much anything you need all right so now I'm gonna be trying the kayak you can just tell that right there it just rained quite heavy look at all that it just rained ponds nice and muddy but I'm still gonna fish let's get started Wow. Not a bad kayak already, I like it. I didn't put the skeg in, I forgot about that. But without that steering skeg, it seems perfectly fine. Nice and balanced. I'm a 235 pound male, six foot tall. Just if you take out the seat for me, I fit perfectly fine in here. I like this. There we go. One of the only problems that I have with this kayak is that it's inflatable. And if you accidentally, let's say, snag it on the way coming back up, or when you're casting, you can punch a hole into it. But luckily they do come with patches, so that's pretty nice. This kayak is actually really great. Like, I'm sitting in the middle of this pond, and look at that. This beautiful cells right there. Rainbow right there. It's just amazing. Today's a perfect day. I don't care if I'm catching fish. This is just worth it for the experience itself. I'm going to show you guys how dirty this water actually is. I'm going to keep it like this far away and see how it works out. This far away. This water is very dirty, as you guys can probably tell. What I kind of just noticed is that while also using this kayak, if you're bigger or on the bigger side like I am, or taller, don't use shoes because you can't fit that little pillow in there all right guys so my official rating of the kayak is going to be eight out of ten or four out of five stars uh the reason why i'm rating it like this is because it is a very nice kayak it's quick to inflate my main problem with it is is that it's inflatable so well if you make a hole in it it's gonna deflate it very fast but it does come with some patches but the patches are very small they're about the size of my gopro lens that i'm filming with right now 
they're extremely small. Also, the kayak is really nice because it kind of floats more on top of the water, if you guys understand what I'm saying, instead of in the water, so that it's easier to move around, a lot lighter than other kayaks that I've tried. So overall, it's a great kayak. If you guys want to purchase it, it'll be one of, one of the first links in the description. By purchasing it, you guys will help me out by giving me anywhere from 1% to 10% of whatever you guys purchased, which will really help out this channel. Alright guys, see you next week. Mm -hmm.